the sound of the shaker ray, the beating of the drum. And it's time for the Griot's Storytelling Circle. This story is being told by Sister Martha Ruff. This story could have taken place anywhere, but it took place right here in Laurel. Malik the tailor was well known all over town. His shop was right in the middle of Main Street. He made clothes and coats and hats. One day, Malik the tailor had a beautiful kente cloth come into his shop. He said, I'm going to use this cloth to make something for me. And so he did. He cut and sewed and made a beautiful kente coat. And Malik the tailor put on the coat and he wore it. He wore it as he walked up and down Main Street and stopped in the Laurel Historical Society. Malik wore his coat so often that it wore all out. Or was it all gone? Malik took his scissors and he cut off the good parts and he sewed them together and Malik made a brand new kente vest. Put his fingers in the pockets and Malik wore his vest. He wore his vest when he went to the library and heard some stories there. And Malik wore his vest and he wore his vest and he wore it all out. Or was it all worn out? Malik took his scissors and he cut and he sewed together the good parts and Malik made a brand new kente hat. They call it a kufi. And Malik wore his hat when he went to see, to walk around Laurel Lakes. And he wore his hat and he wore his hat until his hat was all worn out. Now there's nothing you can make from a, well, wait a minute. There was just a little bit left when he cut his scissors, cut with his scissors and took the top of the hat and made a brand new kente button. <laughs> now if you have a button, you know, some buttons say, I'm a volunteer. And some buttons say, vote for me. But Malik's button with that kente cloth, it just meant I'm a child of Africa. And so Malik wore his button when he went to the Mount Pelier Art Center. And he wore his button and he wore his button until his button was all worn out. And that was the end of the kente. Wait a minute, said Malik. Malik went into his shop. He closed the door and everyone outside was waiting to see what could Malik make from that little tiny button. And when he opened his shop, he said to everyone, gather round, gather round. I have a brand new Kente story to tell you. And he told that story to us. And now we're telling that story to you. And if you tell that story, that story will never end. But this is the end of this story for today. Thank you for listening to Malik the Tailor of Laurel 
And we invite you to come back and join us for the griot storytelling time again. When you hear the shaker ray and you hear the drum, you know it's time for griot storytelling circle. <laughs>